Kim from Stamping Imperfection. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am playing with this adorable Yeti or Not stamp set from Maker Forte. And they have a couple Yeti stamps that you can mix and match things with, which is kind of fun. And I think it's one of their most fun stamp sets this year. Um, I also have this Spruce Up Your Forest two-part slimline stencil. And I am using the top part to create a little background forest for my um, card. I'm going to make a, a slimline card and I have a pre-cut um, frame that has three windows in it. I always love these cards and um, I'm going to use that to create a little scene, sort of scene we'll say. So I'm just adding some I'm using pop art ink here from Maker Forte. This is the Color Hive pop art. This is one of their neon colors. And I really like this stencil. This is the first time I've used it. And I actually really like it a lot um, because it gives you a nice subtle background. And I kind of, you know, faded the ink out toward the bottom and left it kind of splotchy because I kind of want that to look like um, snow. Or like there's snow there and I could add some gel pen details or some um, grit paste or something to little spots on the tree if I wanted it to look really snowy I'll just add some white splatter to give it some a snowfall look now I just got this ink today and this is the bubblegum ink I haven't even swatched it so usually I swatch my ink before I do anything but I decided to go ahead and just use this ink because I am loving the colors that I'm getting from Maker Forte because they feel so different from colors in other ink collections that I have. And I feel like I'm getting a whole new uh, twist on different colors. So I'm kind of enjoying them. And this is sort of a almost a corally color. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I was expecting it to be a bit more pink because it's called bubblegum, but um, I really, it's like a deeper pink with a hint of almost an orange there. And I really like that. That's a pretty color combination. So I'm ha really happy with that. So now I'm gonna add some white ink splatter. And I just have this, um, this ink spray, this white ink spray. And if you don't have white ink spray, use your if you have a like a white ink pad use your reinker squirt a little onto your um mat and mix it with some water and then pick it up with a paintbrush and just splatter it on it's really easy to do that way you can also use gouache if you have gouache or white watercolor paint or white acrylic paint you can water down your acrylic paints as well so i'm looking at both of the yeti stamps that i have and the other one is actually called uh, Get Yeti for Christmas. And I just think this is adorable. Like I was so excited when I got this stamp set because I love these little critters. And they're like, I kept the coloring very simple. I'll just show you a tiny bit of the coloring because um, I just like to use really light uh, lavender and just go around the edges and do some flicks where the hair is. Um, you can do some stippling on them if you want them to look fluffier or things like that, but I'm just gonna keep the color coloring really simple because I love the background and I kind of want the background to be the standout here. So I'm just stamping. I picked three of the Yetis and I'm just stamping them in my Maker Forte Eclipse Black ink, my favorite ink to use with Copic markers. I love this ink pad. Like I, I have never smeared a um, single thing with my Copics at, thanks to this ink. Like I love it. Um, I can't say that about any other black inks that I have, but I really love this for Copics. Now I can't use it for watercoloring so um, that does make me sad, but I can actually use this and then put clear embossing powder over it and heat set it and then watercolor with it. 
So I really like the black ink. I love the foam pads of these inks, and I think the colors that they're coming out with are really interesting. Like they're just different shades of um, colors that I have that I just don't have in my collection. So it's I think it's kind of fun. So here you can see I have BV00 and BV40, and I'm just basically flicking um, the little hair bits and then going around where I think there would be a shadow or um, you know wherever there's a line I'm just adding a little of that BV double zero and that's a darker of my two colors so I'm not even making it very dark so and I did pull out um, RV RV four zeros I think it is or V four zeros actually is a it's like a light violety pink, and I did like inside the ears and I did around the inside, so I'm just making sure that all uh, I'm going back around the edges, and I'm making sure that everything around the edge is done, and I'm adding a little. Um, this is C, I think this is C zero, and I didn't. Think that showed up well enough so I ended up later pulling out some pink and putting it on the bottom of the feet and wherever I had put this and then I decided to make those little horns brown and I added a pop of red to the scarf some yellow to the mug and the star and I made the cookie green so I got some color in there but I kept the coloring of my critters very simple so I'm pulling out that die cut frame that I have and I'm just going to add some foam strips behind it. These are scrapbook.com foam strips, and I actually really like these foam strips. They're very narrow, so they will be perfect for the like those center bars of the frame there. And I like I I like how this is not super thick. Like if you ever tried the Stampin' Up um, foam strips, they were super thick. Like thicker than any other foam but these are not super thick they're the same thickness as any of the other foams you get on the rolls like I'm pretty sure Maker Forte has uh, Gina K I think they have a second brand too but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head um, so the foam tape like this roll right here they have stuff like this in the shop and I love this tape like I love the thickness and this is I believe quarter inch tape um, like it's just a good width and it's not so thick that my card is really super puffy um, because it, cards with a lot of dimension look really nice in photos not so great close up so I don't like to put really thick foam on I don't want to like you know have it standing up off the card it looks pretty in a photo but when you're holding on to it it's like yeah that's weird so I just add a little bit of foam and I don't put foam all the way to the edge I want those edges overlapping the frame not to have any foam adhesive on it because I don't want it sticking up more on one side than the other and I just kind of place them each leaning against some part of that frame and the last thing I need is my sentiment and of course I'm gonna have to add some crown jewel gems and I definitely put want to put the gold crown jewel gems I think they're called solar flare so I'm just gonna cut off a piece of this I pulled out one of the sentiments this is may your days be merry and bright and I think the color combination that I used here is kind of perfect with this sentiment and I love the little ink splatter if you aren't comfortable using ink splatter don't forget that Maker Forte has four ink splatter stamps and they're nice rubber stamps um, so if you don't like to do like freehand ink splatter because it can be hit or miss and um, definitely get yourself at least one of those stamps because and they're all the four they have four they're all different patterns patterns and different densities of splatter dots but you know I think that's a great way to add splatter to your project if you want the look but you're a little hesitant to actually make splatter go everywhere because um, I don't want to get that splatter on my walls and stuff you can do it inside a box if you want to but I always find it hard to 
to videotape that. So I'm just trimming down my um, my sentiment and I'm going to put foam on the right and left edge of that because it's going to cross over one of those bars that already has foam on it. And I'm just going to kind of center it um, between the first two there. I'm going to slide it under that little star and I'll slide it under the arm of the bear or the um, Yeti on the other side and there you go that is going to complete the all the work on my card now I'm just going to add my crown jewel gems and I have my dollar bucket from um, the dollar store and I'm pulling out this is where all my kaleidoscope powders my glitters and my crown jewel gems are stashed and it's like I keep that on um, in the cabinet directly behind me so I can just reach back and grab it because I love the crown jewel gems I'm not gonna lie I think I have all the colors unless they come out with new ones just saying that would be great I love that they are they have coordinating colors to the inks for the crown jewel gems and the paper and um, the, even the kaleidoscope powders and the now the embossing powder I love that like I just I feel really excited about that so I love these tweezers for this chore and um, these are the on the hook tweezers I don't think I've ever had a pair of tweezers that allowed me to pick up these little gems so easily like I literally used to use a craft pick to pick these up and I only used um, gems and pearls with uh, glue on the back already like the pre like they had a glue dot attached to the back of them and then I would use my craft pick but this is much better and the pretty little containers that they put all their embellishments and powders and everything in love it they look so pretty sitting on your craft table and I'm going to use a little bit of glue to add these gems it's nice to have a glue bottle that has um, a very thin applicator tip because then I get the spot exactly where I want it and I have I it used to have a little plastic sleeve this um, jar and um, the little plastic like cap broke and I've been using a pin that actually came with the glue to put in the hole and it's actually um, the pin is actually like leaching off the whatever the silver coating is is leaching off into the glue so it does say S free so I'm not sure what kind of reaction that actually is that's taking place there so I'm gonna have to find a different solution for um, capping my I might just have to get a new tip somewhere so I'm gonna put all the links for these goodies below and I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you get notifi notifications every time you upload a new video and definitely use those links even if you don't want to buy anything just click on the links and visit the store that helps me out so much even if you don't buy anything so thank you so much for watching friends have a wonderful day Bye.